I don't know what the deal is with these guys, but I'll tell you this much. It's pure hate. It's hatred. It's bigotry. They get, they're so disrespectful to people. They have no sense of honor. And it's all over. And Portland's really bad. You know, I've been to all the cities around the country. Portland is by far the worst. It's one of the worst cities in this country. And it's filled with so much darkness. And that's why I'm so motivated to continue to go in there to expose what it's like there. Because if we don't go in there, you know, we don't bring out all this hate onto the streets from, from Antifa and the communists or just people on the far left, you know, people won't see it. Because a lot of their hatred is done behind the scenes where the country won't see it. You know, when they dox people or they go after you. And they just simply just try to make fun of everybody they disagree with. It is insane and it's crazy. And so I'm more than happy to go down there. I don't, I don't really care what the risks are. I'm happy to go down there and to stand up for freedom and stand up for God. Joining us for the rest of the hour is Joey Gibson. Talk about being lied about. Here's the article from ZeroHedge.com on Infowars.com. You got to go read this. Better bring our own guns. Portland Antifa plotting direct confrontation at pro-Trump rally on their official Facebook Twitter pages. They openly say, the leaders of it, that after the Nazis came out and attacked LBGT and black people and attacked us, we're bringing guns this time. Talk about total mental illness or just total deception. Talk about that, ladies and gentlemen, because there are no white supremacists out at these things. Antifa has been attacking people for no reason. They attacked a bunch of people a few weeks ago and, they, and got their butts kicked. Even the local liberal news admitted Antifa attacked. The police took weapons from them guns, ammo, knives, clubs, and then they say, we've been attacked by Nazis who are attacking gay people, so we're going to go out and, quote, eliminate folks. That's Antifa beating up a transsexual. But then the transsexual fought back, so Antifa had the video removed, I read, saying that they were bullied, and YouTube agreed. They said when seven guys beat up a transsexual, if they're Antifa, the transsexual's bad. Antifa is at the hierarchy of leftist gods. It's it's the top. So let's go to our guest for the balance of the hour, Joey Gibson, GibsonForFreedom.com, who saw this evil the last few years, the attacks on Trump supporters, began doing prayer vigils. And we've had many of the folks on, black folks, white folks, Hispanic, Asian, uh, a lot of liberals come out that are real liberals, and they go, man, yeah, uh, well, finally, they had their event in San Francisco, remember? And finally, it made Pelosi admit they were a terror group because they started beating the cops up and then just randomly beating other people up and screaming the N-word. So we, and I'm not going to show those videos, but there was another big fight at the Hollywood Star. The last two fights, the people attacking Trump supporters keep calling them the N-word. So, wow, you know someone by their enemies. Joey Gibson, you've got another event coming up. You've got a lot of courage uh, this weekend. We're sending reporters there. Uh, I, I would absolutely love to come, and I need to be there, but I am tied down. The enemy has three lawsuits against me here in Austin uh, that we're battling to try to get me off air, but I've got special uh, exception to be able to be on air. People r r recognize that's happening, so I don't have to be in all these court hearings, uh, even though judges normally want that. It's, it's, it's very clear this is deliberate to, to delay me here. Uh, but, or I would be there with you, Joey. Uh, I believe Owen Schroyer's going, right? So I, I know back a few weeks ago, he, he is going. Yeah, Owen and Jake, uh, so much is happening, ladies and gentlemen. I can't keep track of it anymore. So, Joey, we're praying for you. Uh, I just went over what they said about you. We'll read more of it in the next segment that's longer. But, uh, I mean, I tell you, to exercise freedom in this country, they're shadow banning everybody. They're, 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 they're blocking Republican Congress people from tweeting. Uh, they are attacking people on the street. Uh, they're saying, take us off Spotify, ban us. I mean, the left has gone into full war mode. Uh, I think it's ahead of the elections, and I think they're going to pull something big, not just this weekend. I, I, think, I think they're going to go for broke. What do you think? Yeah, I, I have a gut feeling a lot of people have kind of been feeling the same way. We feel like something big is going to happen. Um, I think August 4th will be big. There's going to be a lot of people down there, but there's a lot of rhetoric. Uh, it's weird how all the news media outlets out of nowhere in coordination come out with the exact same story that I specifically moved the rally so that we can bring guns and basically imply that we want to 
escalate and shoot people, which is completely not true. We've always had guns at every single rally that we have. We just don't pull them out. So. Well, we have Antifa all over the country, but also here to Owen Schroyer, who I'm going to ask to come in the studio. I should have thought of that. Where he's trying to go to a vigil for the lady killed by the illegal alien. The San Francisco Virtue Signalers said, hey, you're allowed to kill her. No big deal. Good job. You know, he'd been deported four times and all the rest of it. They bring out AK-47s in front of the police with their fingers on the trigger. That's illegal. and That's brandishing under Texas law. And they say, but we're a blue city. And they say, are you shaking? Are you afraid? We're not going to let you. And they bump him and hit him with clubs. And the police said, we're ordered to stand down. What do you make of that, yeah, Joey? No, I'm, I saw that. I remember that when that happened. No, that was crazy. And I remember Owen Shoyer was trying to, like, walk around them. And then all he had to do was kind of run and jog, and he got around. But we've seen this all the time. If you look at what happened with ICE in Portland, they're now complaining about the fact that the Portland police, the mayor had the Portland police stand down when ICE officials called the police because they felt like their lives are in danger. The Portland police refused to show up to help them. And so we have a political problem right now in these far-left cities and that's why we've been doing everything that we do, especially down in Berkeley, San Francisco, Portland, you know, Olympia, um, to go in there and challenge it. Because if you don't challenge it, then the world won't see it. The country won't see it. And there will be no pressure on these mayors and the city council members. Well, you've got all these mayors saying revolt, uh, don't arrest MS-13, uh, resist the police. I mean, this is real dangerous sedition. And what's up with the N-word? Every demonstration now, it's white people and others screaming the n-word at black officers what the hell's going on there i don't know it's really ironic it's like everything's flipped upside down now you know right is left left and right up is down because i see these people you know we have a lot of people from the lgbt community that march with us as you saw uh that was amber she's a transsexual we have aaron she's that uh transsexual that was on top of a guy beating him up who tried to attack her and they say some of those derogatory words towards them, but yet they say that we're the ones that are homophobic and we're trying to attack people from the LGBT community. We believe in freedom. So I don't care what you do in your house. I don't care who you want to marry. It's not my problem. You can do and say whatever you want. Just don't hurt other people. That's and they project concern. onto me that I'm, I'm being kicked off the Internet for child bullying and never show what I did because I didn't do anything. And then they say that I'm calling for violence against LBG whatever. That's total bull. Yeah, I get that all the time. I would say one of the craziest things is they constantly say that I have hate speech. And so we have put out a $2,000 bounty for anyone that can find any hate speech, anything that I've said that's remotely hateful, and they get two grand. And no one's, no one's even tried to bring up anything because everything that I've said is, is from my heart. is genuine. That's right. Stay there. Well, you're loving. You're a real Christian. Like, Christ, we're going to bring everybody in here. Uh, we're not Pharisees. But that's it. Is it. It's all about control of the language. And making these groups think they're victims and that we're the enemy and then hyping them up to physically attack us saying we're Nazis. We'll be back to talk about the big rally coming up this weekend and how you can be there. Owen Schroyer and more of our crew will be there, so please pray for them. This is serious business, but we've got to exercise the First Amendment or lose it. You know, every couple generations has to go through a war. And we're going through a 21st century psychological war, a war of bullying, a war of lies, a war of intimidation. And whatever the enemy does to us, the big mega banks, the big media they own, literally communist Chinese funded and backed, they own our debt, they own Hollywood. I mean, we're so far down the rat hole. Globalism is about selling out the nation state. And so they turn around and then tell those of us that are trying to reboot the country, trying to relaunch things successfully, trying to bring optimism, positivity, American values, they turn around and say, we're bad people. We're racist. We're this or that. We, we, Alex is getting kicked off the internet for child endangerment. They don't say what I did. I showed a viral video that was all over the news of a kid being pushed to the ground after he punches an adult in the face four times. I, and I said, look at this punk kid. It's like an SJW. Then we showed a bunch of SJWs punching people, Antifa punching women, and then women kicking their ass. And they said, oh, you're glorifying the kid getting pushed. We were illustrating how these are just grown-up little punk kids. The police report came in on that kid. He was reportedly going around pushing adults, pushing kids to the ground, just, just going crazy because no one would stand up to him. And finally, he pushes and hits an adult four times, and the adult pushes him to the ground. Then he fake cries and gets back up and is fine. And says, you're effing going to prison, which, of course, he didn't. 
But it, 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 that's the essence of leftist garbage. You read this article at Infowars.com. And again, they shadow ban that everywhere, so you can promote it off Newswars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. They aren't as banned. They aren't the big vaunted name that the SJW has recognized that, that all run the, 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 the media because they've created these people in the universities, and now they've deployed them into, into, into our daily lives to, to be our minders, to be our controllers. I don't, I don't speak Spanish. And I've asked people that speak Spanish what it means, and they go, that may be some Cuban thing. We don't really know, but it's the intro to Scarface. And they're saying, oh, what's this scar? You know, how'd you get that? You know, what were you in prison for, Tony? And he says, listen, I love America. My dad was born in America. I want the American dream, just like Jimmy Carter says, let me in. And they say, are you a communist? And that's when he blows up and he says, am I a communist? You want a Chavano, whatever that means in Spanish, no one can tell me, on every corner telling you what to eat, where to sleep, what to wear, what to do. I eat squid three times a day. I got squid coming out my rear end here. I want America. I want prosperity. I want it now. If people want that, I say, get in here. But you want to come here and get a bunch of free crap and bitch and complain and piss all over everything and say families are bad and God's bad and men are bad and women are bad. Everything that's good's bad. Everything that's strong is bad. They're assaulting us. They're demoralizing us. They're attacking us. And I'm telling you, the system under Cuba or other North Korea or Venezuela, they're bringing that here, folks. And they got thugs that openly say on their local websites that if I'm seen in public and I still go out, they're going to do you know what. In America... And then they use the threats of Antifa against me as an excuse to try to take my kids right now. But I'm not down at the courthouse where they're trying to take my kids right now. God told me, stay at the helm of this operation and move forward no matter what they do. And if I get destroyed in the process, politically, it's what I'm supposed to do. I win by doing the right thing, just like our guest, Joey Gibson. Joey Gibson for freedom.com. I'm ranting here. I want you to get into the rally coming up. Your 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 awakening, why you decided to do this, and 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 just how Antifa uh, two rallies ago that inspired you to come out there, beat up little kids, pepper spray babies and strollers, attack women. They always attack people in wheelchairs. They're, they're like the archetypal coward. Where like they don't even think it's funny that they're such cowards. They, they think it's cool that they attack women. And then you guys show up. They openly, the news admits, attack you. We can roll the footage. You guys kick their ass. Each one of you taken out like 10 of them. I mean, it's incredible footage. It goes on and on. You got to watch it in slow motion. And then they say, we got attacked by Nazis that attack black people and LGBT. And, and, and we're coming out with guns to, to eliminate them. I mean, they're hitting people in the head with clubs. They're such cowards, and then they create this false reality how they need to come out and eliminate you because you want to exercise the free speech, and they say these lies. It's delusional. Or are they lying to the public, or what is the point of their total deception? I don't know what the deal is with these guys, but I'll tell you this much. It's pure hate. It's hatred. It's bigotry. They get, they're so disrespectful to people. They have no sense of honor. And it's all over. And Portland's really bad. You know, I've been to all the cities around the country. Portland is by far the worst. It's one of the worst cities in this country. And it's filled with so much darkness. And that's why I'm so motivated to continue to go in there to expose what it's like there. Because if we don't go in there, you, we don't bring out all this hate onto the streets from, from Antifa and the communists or just people on the far left, you know, people won't see it. Because a lot of their hatred is done behind the scenes where the country won't see it. You know, when they dox people or they go after you. And they just simply just try to make fun of everybody they disagree with. It is insane and it's crazy. And so I'm more than happy to go down there. I don't, I don't really care what the risks are. I'm happy to go down there and to stand up for freedom and stand up for God. Well, I'm going to tell Antifa something. We've already been doxing them locally for about two years. And I've been so busy, I haven't really moved on them yet politically. Um, but... I'm not going to tell them what we're about to do, but very, very soon, legal and lawful, uh, they are going to get confronted in their workplaces and where they go to school, where they go to college. We've had people in their meetings with the professors. We've given it to the FBI. The FBI has been unable to act on it. So 
people need to understand this is a true group of violent criminals who lust after killing police officers and the police are so paralyzed they can't even do anything because the blue cities are run by scumbags well here, here's what we have over them obviously they cover their faces so they they have no way to motivate and inspire the public because they're faceless they don't have a leader right they're just soldiers on the streets and so that's one of the biggest things that we have is we have all these people you know like will johnson or myself or or, or uh, tusi tala tiny we have people who are starting to become um messengers to the public where people can look to and people can can, it can they can be inspired to come out on the streets it's like a message and it's really it's real hope it's people being excited to make real change and that's why people love going into cities like Portland because everybody makes fun of Portland. If you don't live in Portland, everybody makes fun of Portland because of how horrible it is there. Even the mayor, the mayor is a complete joke. He uses the police in this political uh, game and he does it to protect Antifa. He does it to attack ICE officers. He doesn't give ICE officers any backing at all. He completely supported the Occupy ICE and it got so bad they had over 70 phone calls to the police over violence, over the fact that it was a biohazard. It was, uh, they just had time. And look at what they call it. There. They call it a, the ICE calls it a zone of terror. And that's what these blue, by the way, they admit Portland and San Francisco now have all their major conferences canceling, like all of them basically, because there's so much feces. There's just crap everywhere. And like drooling uh, heroin heads and meth heads. I mean, th these are hell zones. Yes, they are. And if you go down there and you actually look people in, the, in their eyes, you can see there's something different about them. There's something happening in these cities that are, without a doubt, spiritual. I mean, you, <laughs> it's unbelievable. But you have to see it for yourselves. If you come down to a rally or a march and you see these people who protest us, they're literally foaming from the mouth. We have tons of footage of that. That's not a joke. Like, they're sitting there. It looks like they're having a seizure, yelling, cussing, and screaming. You try to have a conversation one of my most favorite things to do is get this on film, try to have a conversation and you ask them questions they ch and you challenge the things that they say, but they can't back it up. They just start yelling and screaming and cussing. And so I think that it's really important that people see this with their own eyes in person, especially if you don't live in the area, because if we don't stop this now, it's gonna take over the rest of the country. Well, that's right. Well, what happens is they're told, be part of the system, you'll become powerful and rich. They're not. They're desperate. So they believe if they keep like a compulsive gambler betting, betting on the system, they're pissed at themselves and the system. They just don't know. They're like, if I just defend the system more, I'll finally be somebody. If I could run your life, if I could hurt Christians, if I could take people's kids, if I could, I, I'd be somebody if I could run their lives. Owen Schroyer is coming in to talk about this big event coming up this weekend. Stay with us. And stay with us, uh, Joey Gibson of GibsonForFreedom.com. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. You just saw a short excerpt of the full interview we did with this notable awakened human. If you want to see the full unedited interview, go to InfoWars Interviews online. We have links below and we have links to the side to our other channels, but the full interviews are being posted to InfoWars Interviews online on YouTube and other platforms. And you can always find the full live transmission at infowars.com forward slash show. Look at that. Everybody else is just like yellow or clear. That's because it's been denatured, it's been watered down. We didn't do that. <laughs> you think I would metaphysically sell you something that is the very best I can get? I'd rather go to hell than do that. I will only give you the maximum best info, the maximum truth, the maximum product, because I want that good will. What I do to you, I do to myself. Don't you get the big secret? You ever seen fish oil look like that? No, you never seen that, have you? And this little jewel right here is solid liquid consciousness. Look it up. Find out how even the FDA and the government admits fish oil is incredible. The number one thing anybody can do for themselves is take good fish oil or krill oil. Just like our information is dynamite, so are our products, InfoWarsStore.com.